Okay, so it says consider the uniform electric field. Okay, I like a uniform. So they are giving us the uh, magnitude of the electric field and what is the electric flux through a circular area of radius. Okay, um, and they've given us enough information to calculate it. That lies in the, okay, I gotta draw a picture to imagine this. I'm gonna draw on uh, the coordinate axis of the three-dimensional thing. I'm just gonna draw it the way I normally draw, with the x-axis kind of coming towards me, or you know, coming towards you, <laughs> and the y-axis to the right, so x cross y, t is upward, so that's my t. Uh, drawing that helps me imagine, okay, so they, when they say x, y plane, they are talking about this plane here that's um, defined by my x and y axis. Okay, and uh, let me just uh, draw what that looks like. So this is x hat, y hat. So the kind of the direction that my electric field is going, I guess that's kind of going that way in the x and y. Oh, no, no, that's not x hat, sorry. I hat is x hat, so this is y hat, this is g hat. So the direction that this is going is uh, more like one of the components is going in the y hat, one of the components going in the g hat. So my uh, electric field is kind of going in that direction ish. So, okay, I think that's uh, good. So to, to calculate the flux, through an area that looks like this, lies in the xy plane and has radius r, um, I just need to apply the definition that says the flux through an area of electric flux through an area is the electric field, that product with the area as a vector. And um, so we can calculate what the area, the magnitude of area is, pi r squared. So we need to take care of the direction. Think uh, I want to choose the direction so that our flux will be positive. I don't think they are looking for a signed answer here. So the direction of a plane is the direction that's perpendicular to the plane. So the n hat, the normal vector to the plane, that's gonna be my, that's gonna be g hat, or in the notations that they are using, k hat. So my area vector will be the magnitude of area times k hat. So once you get that part, then the rest is easy. easy. You just calculate electric field times this area vector. We are given the components of the electric field vector, and I just figured out the uh, area vector in the component of form. So I have 9j hat plus 7k hat, and I'll take care of the units at the end. That product with um, pi r squared k hat. If you remember the component by component definition of that product, um, we basically do x component times x component, zero for both of them y component times y component. This is not zero, but there's no y component here, so that's a zero. So the only part that doesn't vanish is the g component times the g component, seven pi r squared, and you have k dot k, which is just equal to one. So my electric flux is this thing uh, times the unit times the area. And here I'm just gonna, oh wait, I guess that is the electric field times area. So yeah, let me, I think it's easy enough to plug in the numbers. So let me do that. Uh, so seven times pi times r squared, 1.7 squared. So 63.6. Oh wait, wait. Um, <laughs> I gotta be careful with the powers of 10. <laughs> so the answer here is that 60.6 times 10 to the power of three. Looks like we are going up in the power of 10 to the power of 10 by one. So I need to move the decimal one point here. So 6.36, 6.36.